Have you ever just lightly browsed Photoshop for fun? You might have come across this word several times again and again appearing as a button or a menu, right? Yet we seem to ignore it, thinking it would be trash. But turns out, not always. Really, what if you click the button or choose the menu and it does not work? All you gotta do is press Ctrl or Command Z, that's it. It's just one step. But what if it does work? Or what if it gets you closer to what you want? It's worth it, right? In this fun tutorial, we have made a collection of top automatic features in Photoshop and stay tuned till the end because I'm gonna give you an action to make it even more faster and automatic. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in the magical world of Photoshop and if you want to go ahead and download any of the photos shown in the tutorial, check the links in the description. First of all, we'll look at some destructive automatic features, but they are just amazing. So to make it a little non-destructive, we'll make a copy of the background layer, press Ctrl or Command J with the background layer selected, and then it's very simple. Have a look at it. All you have to do, you have to go to image, and then there is auto tone, auto contrast, auto color. Now all three of them look great together. So all we need to do, first of all, choose auto color. Okay. Now it might not look great. Now have a look. Here's the before. Here's the after. It takes away the color. Just don't discard it now unless you complete it. Go with the second one, image auto contrast, and then select image auto tone. Now have a look. Now judge. Let's have a look at the before and after. Here's the before. Here is the after. Now, if you think the amount is too much, you can always go ahead and decrease the opacity. So you can decrease it to your taste and that would be it. Easy. Let's have a look at our second example with some color cost. So how do we solve it? Let's create a curves adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. Now inside of curves, we have auto too. So click on auto, see whether that solves it, right? So we're going to zoom in and move it right there and click on auto. It kind of makes the contrast better, but then again, it doesn't solve the color cost. So there are more automatic options. So if you click on this grid right over there and you choose auto options, I wanted to have a look at this. There are enhanced monochromatic contrast, enhanced per channel contrast. So let's select the second one and bingo, hit solved. And if you wanna correct the color cost, snap the neutral midtones, so you can check it and have a look. It looks better. So hit okay. Have a look at the before and after. So this is the after and this is the before. Color cost? No color cost. Now if you want to do something more to it, you can press Control Alt Shift E, Command Option Shift E to create a stamp visible layer. You can convert it into a smart object by going to filter, convert for smart filters, hit okay, and then apply camera raw to it as well. So you can go to filter and then camera raw filter. Now inside camera raw, there is auto as well. So all you need to do is just click on auto, hit OK. That is great too. So you can decrease the opacity if you want to. And I don't like it on the face. So you can choose this mask right over there. Every smart filter comes with a mask. So click on the mask, take the brush and make sure the foreground color is black. You can press X to toggle between the foreground and the background. Let's make the brush a little bigger and just paint black on her face. Just like so. And press X to make it white. And if you want to just apply it to some areas, you paint it with white. Done. Let's have a look at the before and after. So here's the before. Hold the Alt or Option. Click on the eye. Here's the before. Here is the after. I'm going to show you how to make it even more faster with just two or three clicks at the end. Just wait. And by the way, I just wanted to tell you that we just explored the auto functions inside of the curve. If you want to learn how they work and how to make the most out of it, you can check out this video. Let's move on to our third example. So in this example, as you can see, the contrast is lacking. So that's kind of a style, but if you want to get the contrast back, you can choose levels as well. So you can choose levels and then you click on auto. Got it. Or you can also do this. You can create a brightness contrast and click on auto. You get it. Easy, right? To make all of this even more faster and easier, I've created a set of automatic actions which contains most of them. All right, let's have a look. All you have to do, download the action using this link. You can download for free and then you can go to Windows and then Actions, right? To load the action, you can simply click on this grid right over there and choose Load Action. Locate where you have downloaded them. I'm going to choose my folder. Choose this, hit Open and it will load up right there. Auto Actions. So, Auto Everything does image, 
auto color, auto contrast, auto tone, all of these three together. So if you choose auto everything and play it, does all of that at once. Let's move on to example number three, two. So we have auto curves one, two, three, and we also have auto curves one N, two N, three N. What this means is if you create a curves adjustment layer, and if you go to auto options, so right here on the grid, you will go to auto options. So auto curve one is this one, two is this one, three is this one, and four is this one. And one N is this one with this checked. 2n is the second one with snap neutral midtones checked. All right, so hit cancel for now and delete it. All you have to do, just go to the action and just try it. 1n, does that work? Let's play it. So this has a color cost, so I want something with n on it. So I'm gonna play it. Doesn't work quite well. Let's try 2n. Works amazingly. Now, if you want something more on top of it, you can play this one, the auto camera raw. Let's make it bigger. Let's play it. Now this is a little tricky. It says click auto inside the camera raw window. So all you have to do, hit continue and then click on auto. You can also make some adjustments if you want. So if you want highlights to be a little more or the shadows to be a little less, it's absolutely on you. If you want to play with the temperature, you get a little control over here and hit okay. And you get it. Now I've made some couple adjustments. Now once you open camera raw, I've already made some adjustments to the vibrance a little bit. I've boosted it and I've also boosted the saturation a little bit. You can change the action if you want to, but that's the way it is. Let's move on to the third one, third example. It's right over there. And in this case, I'm gonna use auto brightness and contrast and just play it. And it works amazingly. So you have all of these actions. You can make your own actions. I would insist that you do because when you make your own, you learn something. So. That's pretty much it. So the whole point of this tutorial is not to ignore the auto feature. The engineer said Adobe are working really hard to get that auto right and it's amazing what it has come to. You know, they're using artificial intelligence and Adobe Sensei and it gets better and better with updates. So why ignore it, right? And if it gives you the result that you do not like, you can always press Control or Command Z or delete the adjustment layer. It's just one step, right? worth a try. At least you can use it as a reference point or maybe a starting point and sometimes and an end result, right? So don't ignore it. Use it. Use these actions. Hope these help you. And if they do, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tip, trick or tutorial. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.